WVUA 23's Jabari Pruitt joins us live. And Jabari, this is a first step, correct? That's right. To make an impact nation, Pastor Spencer Smith says it's time now to sit down and talk with not only the kids, but the parents. A nearly packed house at Impact Nation Church in Tuscaloosa for a symposium called Protecting Our Future Community. It is our efforts to redefine uh, what we consider to be the village. You know, the African proverb that says it takes a village to raise a child. Bishop Spencer Smith says the idea came from the recent school security and safety issues that children face, such as the deadly shootings at Huffman High School in Birmingham that left 17-year-old Cortland Arrington dead. Michael Barber was arrested and charged for her murder, and a gun found at Westlawn Middle and a deadly school shooting in Florida that left 17 people dead. Smith says it's imperative to have a conversation with the community. It's my belief that, you know, the same way you don't throw money at poverty, you don't throw programs at the problem with regards to our youth. Uh, it has to have a conversation, first of all, with the parents and those who are responsible. Parenting, however, cannot just extend uh, or just be in the home. It must extend to the school system. The panel was present to address those concerns. Faith without works is dead, so we, we have to pray, but we also have to be active and proactive and not just reactive and, and take action in our community right now and talk about the serious issues. Dr. Line Barger, principal at Central Elementary School. The parents need our help, so it's going to take a collaborative effort with the parents at home. It's going to take principals, teachers, it's going to take pastors, it's going to take community leaders. You know, we can't just put it back on the home. Um, there's no, there was no book written to say this is how you raise children and things like that. It's a struggle for us all. Since the recent school incidents, Nor Jordan, student at Central High School, says she has to take all precautions. What I've learned is to take everything um, seriously and just to take your, I mean, safety precautions. So we've definitely been training more in the school system, which is sad, but it's a good thing. And we've been getting our bags checked and everything. So I think this is a positive step. Now, Bishop Smith says the next step will be writing a dialogue to pass out to the community on ways that will help keep our children safe. Live tonight from the studio, Jabari Pruitt, WVUA 23 News.